with Futurism at World's Fair Nano out in Brooklyn, New York. And today I'm going to be interviewing scientists working on artificial intelligence, searching for alien life, and a lot more. So definitely stay tuned. Tell me a little bit about the current issues that we have right now with uh, our farming. Several big issues. One is population growth. Another is urbanization. Another is food waste. So you have a lot of consolidation of production where most food is produced in one part of the country or the world and then it's shipped to all these others. So this confluence of issues makes it daunting when you think of 50% more food by 2050. What exactly is vertical farming? The name says it all, right? Uh. So it's, a, it's layer upon layer of food growth. So we grow at Arrow Farms, there's no sun, no soil. And people say, how do you grow without sun or soil? Plants don't need sun, they need spectrum of light. They don't need soil, they need nutrients and micronutrients. So we have all these really smart people at Arrow Farms studying what the plants want and how to deliver that environmentally to the plant to optimize plant growth. We also are able to grow without pesticides, not organic pesticides, but zero pesticides. So when the customer eats the food, they have nothing to wash off and the tastes are fantastic. If there was one thing that you could leave people with um, about vertical farming, I guess, what exactly would that be? Or about Aero Farms? Use this as like an inspiration for what the future could bring because we need to embrace innovation. We have big problems to solve. We need a new paradigm of how we're gonna feed our food. And vertical farming is illustrative of some of the innovation that could solve our problems.